hailed aircraft will arrive at the Kadena Air Base at the start of November as part of a six-month deployment initiative. General Terence O'Shaughnessy, a Pacific Air Force's commander said, the F-35A gives the joint warfighter unprecedented global precision attack capability against current and emerging threats while complementing her air superiority fleet. He also told Defense News, the airframe is ideally suited to meet our command's obligations, and we look forward to integrating it into our training and operations. 12A models of the fighter jet will be supported by 300 airmen from Utah as part of the deployment. The aircraft announcement comes after F-35s made an appearance at the Seoul International Aerospace and Defense Exhibition last week. The F-35A fighters will join the F-35B planes that have been stationed at the Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni since January. The F-35A is used for traditional takeoff and landings while the F-35B is capable of short takeoff and vertical landings. Both are stealth aircraft capable of inflicting incredible destruction on a chosen target. The news of an increased military presence in Japan comes as the US and North Korea are engaged in a tussle that has upped World War III tensions and other palpable gear. The Hermit Kingdom recently labeled Japan a stooge and threatened the country with bitter doom in a statement from Kim Jong-un's puppet news agency. Rodong Sinman, the paper under control of the despot leader, fired the threats of annihilation at Tokyo as the rogue nation seems determined to provoke nuclear war. The publication said, during recent talks with the Foreign Minister of Denmark, Japanese Foreign Minister Taro Kono let loose a string of rubbish that it is important for the whole international community to step up pressure upon the DPRK so as to get it change its policy. Earlier, he clung to the sleeves of diplomatic officials of the UK, Germany, China, Ukraine and other countries to stoke an atmosphere of pressure against the DPRK, clamoring about the necessity to put renewed pressure upon it. It is ridiculous for Japan, no more than a stooge, to trumpet about maximum pressure. Now the economic policy of the Japanese authorities has faced doom. North Korea also lashed out at Tokyo for the current military drills the country is conducting on the Korean Peninsula. The publication went on, the Japanese reactionaries are also seeking to realize their goal of militarization and ambition for re by abusing the increasing tension on the Korean Peninsula. They are endlessly conducting all sorts of war drills in waters close to the Korean Peninsula together with the US at Japan, a parasite living under the wing of the US, dares keep on rash acts to make a showdown with the DPR Quay, the former will only face bitter doom. The latest threats from the isolationist kingdom come as Japanese leader Shinzo Abe sealed a thumping re-election victory after vowing to take a tough stance on North Korea.